Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to do a green screen effect on Adobe Premiere Pro CS4. It's going to look like the one we have here, so that's pretty cool. Um, let me just show you that. It's going to look like that, that's just a really rough version of it. Um, first thing is you need the footage of yourself in front of a green screen and the image you want to crop in. So I'll start a new one over here. Okay and first you need to drag the background which in this case is a picture of um, mountains into video one so that's going to be there and the footage of yourself in front of the green screen just above it in video two um, drag the background to the same size as your footage so they don't overlap and we can start green screening uh, I just got five drag it, there we are, so drag it to the same size um, let me just remove the sound of my footage first so they it doesn't mess with the video okay sorry computer's being a bit slow there we are, so just remove the sound okay then we can start the green screen um, next you wanna click on the footage, so that's our video over here so we'll click on it come on there we are click and we go to video effects on the side keying find chroma key which is here and then drag chroma key in um, next thing you know chroma key is up here in the window above under effects controls so we can click the little arrow by chroma key and obviously we want to remove this green background um, so to remove that green background click on the little eyedropper by color and click the green that you want to remove so that will be over here in this case so now it's selected that color that's the color we want to remove um, the cool thing about this is that you can remove any color background so um, you don't need a green screen to do this you can do it on a plain colored wall um, at the moment it's not really the green hasn't really gone you can just see a few dots around which isn't that great so we're going to just drag the similarity up until it looks decent okay that looks about right and we can mess around with the other options like blend threshold cutoff but I'd only really recommend playing around with blend and similarity um, so we we'll go blend that's just to make it look better don't overdo it otherwise you end up like that and that's not cool that's not good and then obviously smoothing we want the smoothing to be high just to make it look a bit more natural um, obviously that's um, really rough so as you can see here at the beginning uh, you'll need to play around with the options more to make it consistent but I've only really done it throughout um, just for this bit which doesn't have as much movement as the first bit which didn't really work so that's annoying but as you can see here it works um, pretty well that's good and on the first video that I have uh, that works really nicely so I can just play it and you can kind of see that it's done a great job um, you can put a video or an image behind in the green screen so it doesn't just have to be an image if you've got a video of something maybe you want to be flying in the sky or something something cool like that then you can do that so that's how to do green screen on adobe premiere pro cs4 and peace